I'm in the all new Lincoln Aviator and it is a three row family crossover. So let's see what it's like here for those in rows two and three. But for row two, uh, as usual, this is uh, sliding as well as uh, reclining. And uh, when it's reclined, pretty darn comfortable. Very nice uh, height off the ground as well as a nice recline here. Since these are the captain's chairs, you do have the center console here. Uh, there's a handy bin to put a, uh, some sort of device. Uh, you also have controls for the panoramic sunroof. So people back here have control of that, not just those up front. There is a uh, bin here, pretty deep, uh, pretty usable. There is a USB-A and USB-C port inside of here. Uh, there's also a pair of those here at the back of the front center console as well, along with a household style plug. You also have your own power door locks back here. That's a nice touch as well as a, an actual touch screen control for the climate system, as well as audio settings for backseat passengers here in the uh, top of the line model, such as this black label. So like many three row crossovers, the second row here can slide at the press of a button. The, uh, the gap to back here, is uh, you know, pretty average, I'm six foot three. That wasn't that difficult. Um, now, in terms of the space back here, um, I'd say this is not as good as say a Honda Pilot or a Subaru Ascent, but it, for the luxury segment, uh, it's definitely one of the better ones. Maybe a Volvo XC90 has a bit more, but uh, this Aviator has considerably more, I'd say, than an Audi Q7 an Acura MDX, and I'd say the main reason is because of the amount of headroom you have back here. Again, six foot three, and I'm sitting upright. Um, my hair is not grazing the roof, which is very good. Now, in terms of, uh, you do have air vents back here. You have your own cup holders. Importantly, the windows are nice and big, so it doesn't feel all claustrophobic. So in terms of being a family crossover, I'd say Aviator, yes, it does deliver.